So today we are at the Windermere Jetty Museum with National Historic Ships and yeah. we are here to give a talk. Yeah. Don't know what we're going to say. <laughs> we're going to wing it. We'll we figure it out. We yeah. haven't planned it so they've invited us here to mm. give a talk about everything that we've been doing on YouTube and everything we've been doing with Sarinda since we got her. Mm. So we're quite nervous. Yeah. And then we're quite excited. And it's the first time we've been like out and got dressed like yeah, without work left, boots on for ages. Left the vicinity of our normal bubble, haven't we? Yeah. yeah. So yeah. look at this view. So Simon said to me, Gemma, don't get nervous. Just imagine everyone naked. I think I'm going to have to do my speech like that now. <laughs> <laughs> right, should we go in and get yeah, it done? Yeah, let's go in. Ah, wish us luck. This is, this is wonderful. Um, so I think this is the oldest yacht in the collection that they've got. Um, I mean, the woodwork you've got here, no, well, I don't think any machines would have been used in the construction of this. This is entirely handmade. Yeah, um, with ads. And I think, uh, I'd have to check where the board is, but I think this is the one that was uncovered as a chicken coop in a field. Yeah. So they had the best story. It had been there. felted and turned upside down. Yeah, it's been um, so yeah, I think I think this boat is the seventeen eighty yacht. Um which is just unbelievable. I mean it was over two hundred years old when I was born. It's <laughs> it's just yeah. It's a stunning, stunning piece of boat. And it's got less wrinkles than us. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And then you've already got your costume on today, look. <laughs> <laughs> Which hat matches best? This one? Or do I need like a... That one. This one better? Yeah. Okay. You a servant. It's a good job I, um, I've got clothes on. <laughs> it's like your nails bill. Is that my new dress? Yeah, I have to wear that for um, painting your bow. Painting your bow dress. <laughs> I think Simon needs to dress up now. No. You need to put your top hat on, at least. Oh yeah, I'll do a top hat. Is this a top hat? Yeah. If the hat fits. It doesn't fit. <laughs> so, old aeroplane engines. Actually, I think this one came out of um, uh, an airship. I don't think it was in an aeroplane, but it's okay. probably on the board. But, um, yeah, so Major Pattinson, so George Pattinson was at the museum, I think yeah. it was his father, had this built and stuck great big Aero engine. As you do. Sort of time, I'm going to do that. This yeah. handle here, there's no clutch or gearbox on this on this boat, okay? Well, you start that right. up and it goes up to about 27 miles an hour in, in the space of about five or six seconds. So you start that handle, you're a brave person. It's, um, yeah. so, so what's actually going on when we crank this handle? You just crank in direct, direct drive. Starts the engine. Oh, it's on the clutch, it's on the dog here. And then that goes, yeah, so, well, yeah. the starting handle's got a clutch because yeah. we yeah. can't have that going around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the engine itself is just direct drive. There's no control. So you've just got the throttle and that's it. Off we pop. Proper. So you want to come into a jetty, you've got a time when you cut the engine and then make sure you get the line that you, you want. It's quite about this. Yeah. 
That's mental. It is mental. So we are now off out on a little steamboat, aren't we? Steamboat! Yay! And the sun's come out, which is nice. You're used to steamboats, though, aren't you? Who? Oh, yeah. I could run this. You know it's oil, don't you? I know it's an oil steamboat, Steve told me. Then Wesley. <laughs> Accidentally, we're just normal people, we're not boat experts <laughs> or anything like that. Um, we've, all, we've always been into boats, we've always owned fiberglass boats, and um, known like a 1962 broom, which was a, like a basic fiberglass boat, a plywood boat, and um, so that was my wooden boat experience. But I'm, um, always, I'm always looking for new boats on, on eBay and stuff like that to restore. Always. <laughs> and and this, this one turned up, so we basically went to your mind starts to play with you, doesn't so what if, what if. So we, we basically went to have a look at it. Um, we, we basically did some research on the history, didn't we? Yeah, he was like, Gemma, Gemma, look at this boat on eBay. Yeah. Expecting me to go. No chance. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. we never we never set out to buy a 72 foot boat. No. <laughs> you know, who, who does? Um, we're just normal people. We work, you know, we've got our own business, we've got two kids. Mm -hmm. And it was like, well, I don't know, we, we read the history of her and, yeah. so, you know, sort of about, you know, the history of, of old, you know, you know, vessels and stuff. It yeah. pulls at your heartstrings, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. And, you know, we, we were in work, weren't we, all day Monday and we yeah. talked about it and I'm like, don't be stupid, we haven't got any money. Because <laughs> yeah, we haven't. We can't, we can't, we can't afford to. Yeah. And, um, you know, we were like, let, he's like, should we just go and look? And then you have a lot in your phone, don't you? Yeah, you do. I'm like, I can fix that, I can fix yeah, that's fine, I can do that. I've got it all planned out in my head. And... I've never been into technology, no. really, and I hate getting my photos taken, I hate speaking. Oh, wow. Well, you know, like, it's like the biggest crowd I've ever spoken to. So I was like, just imagine everyone naked. And I'm like, no, it's <laughs> so <sorry>, fine. <laughs> so we put the You're first. You're supposed to tell them that. <laughs> <laughs> so we, we, we made like, I mean, it was crap. Like, if you watch our first episode, it was crap. Yeah. Because we expected to get 10 views on it of like mom and dad, mm -hmm. you know, sort of grandparents. And within three weeks on YouTube, yeah, we've built we grew to like 16,000 subscribers. Yeah. And we were listening in three weeks, we were like, Oh my god, you know, like pe it, people are really interested to see what you're doing. Two normalish people, you know, like well, we live we, over, completely overwhelmed with this project. Yeah. And, I think know, we grew a big follower at the beginning because mm. people like to watch failures. Yeah, and I think people <laughs> thought this is going to be a car crash, <laughs> so I think that's why. Because we didn't, because we thought we'd get 10 views off our family, we didn't explain mm. who we were or what we could do. So, obviously, people come on and we just, we just. We don't take yeah. ourselves seriously, we just have a laugh, so people think of these two, let's just watch to see them yeah. fake, <laughs> you know. But, now but then, people have faith in us now, don't they? Yeah, people... but we, we live in quite a closed off little bubble, mm -hmm. you know, we work together, we live together, we don't really go out, and we've got the two kids, so it opens up uh, a side of the world that I never knew existed, oh, you this... know, I thought people just put, put, you know, videos on YouTube and that was the end of that. Mm -hmm. And then we're starting to get all these messages and emails, and, you know, people From reaching out. all over the world, yeah. And yeah. then it was like, it was really nice. I love engaging with people, mm. uh, and it's so nice. And, you know, we, even to this day, we get, we get emails and private messages of how our videos have helped people's mental health yeah. and how our videos have, have motivated people. So it was something that we never, ever expected by buying a boat. And yeah. for it to sort of open up, you know, and the amount of friends we've gained and stuff like it, it's 
It's mind blowing, absolutely mind blowing. And it's like, so I've totally forgot about this, haven't I? <laughs> we, we talk, so that's, so go back, that's what she used to look like. So she's HDL 1392. Um, she served as a channel marker on Gold Beach uh, at D-Day. Uh, she had a conversion done to her in the 80s, so obviously she's not original, which is a shame. But it makes it more of a usable sort of family boat now, doesn't it? Yeah. But through the year, we have got a lot of volunteers involved. You know, we've made tons of new friends by doing yeah. this project, isn't it? And you know, we have we've had people you know drive all the way up from like Kent and things like that. We've had last year we had like two volunteer days to you know try and make it look a bit better outside. The hull is the only original sort of bit oh, on it. Boat, so yeah, we so do it, we so. want to honour the past, you know, people like, you know, use screws, use this. And we're like, no, we want to keep it as original yeah. as we can for what's left. So we yeah. are da going down here, we are doing traditional copper nails and robes, which is hard on That's the arms. Really, really <laughs> if, if you've never done it, to try it, it's good. Yeah, come down, we've got 20 million. Yeah, we've got <laughs> Even though a lot of this probably will be hidden when it's all done, yeah, yeah. We, we, you know, everyone's like, I'll oh, just whack loads of sisters in. I'm like, no, I want it to look how she was, you know, to honour her past. So that's what we've been working on. We've just completed <laughs> our biggest job, which was the roof, because obviously, the, you know, every part of it is work. Yeah, the um, cabin top, yeah. But it was, it was book we had to put buckets down and the fresh water, and they blew off in the winter. <laughs> yeah, I was more concerned about the roof blowing off. Mm where we are where we're located if the roof comes off we've got a big problem we'll see yeah. so there we go so that's what we've just finished it well, still not finished we're still going to put fly bridge in and stuff like that yeah. <laughs> but she is watertight ish so yeah, yeah that's really um good. that that's us today's at the moment it's yeah. been a journey but we um we everyone always asks what's your long-term plan with the boat we haven't got one because we never planned on buying a boat. <laughs> yeah. so, I think, you can always find a use for a boat though, can't you? Yeah. 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 The, only, <laughs> the only thing we, we really are only goal is we yeah. want to go and do the D Day crossing uh, with Medusa, which is a sister ship down in Gosport. So that's that's our only future goal, isn't that's it? That's our future goal. Though. In about and seven years. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, we're not making millions out of YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> well, have you, have you sold the Patreon page? Yes, 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 which we, which, I, I've never even heard of Patreon this time last year and I was like, okay. and it, it took me a while to get my head around because we had, you know, we've, we've sort of been pulled along by our viewers and they're like, open Patreon, I'm like, what's Patreon, you look into it, I'm like, people want to sign up to give us money every month, that, I can't do that, and it was, it was a real weird concept at first because we, when we're not the type of people who, who go to people for help, yeah. do you know what I mean, where everything we've done, we've sort of, we work for and yeah so, people have this concept that oh, you're, you're on youtube you must be in millions and you know it's like we're still um, working full time in our day jobs running a business and then we're at the boat every weekend and then the amount of time that editing videos and, and dealing with people so it's like we're running ourselves ragged aren't yeah, we but you're we, in the, you're in the ones, yeah, we're too. really enjoying the process <laughs> of it so yeah, it's yeah, good. <laughs> yeah, cool. Thank you. Thank you. Stephen Beresford from the Windermere Jetty Museum gave a fantastic talk all about the museum and all about the work that they do on every aspect of vessel conservation and restoration at the Windermere Jetty Museum. And it's so fantastic to hear someone as passionate as imaging, creating 3D renders so you can record and you can visualise everything that you need to. Absolutely fantastic. Go and check out his YouTube channel. We also heard from Hull's Yorkshire Maritime Heritage Project and at the moment they're working incredibly hard to protect Hull's incredible maritime history, architect and collections. We also heard from friends of LV50 and how they're using the light ship to create learning resources for children, which is a fantastic project, go and check them out. The National Museum of the Royal Navy also come and spoke about their project, RML 497, which at the moment they are restoring. The team from the Daniel Adamson spoke about the work that they're doing to improve people's mental health, which is absolutely incredible. 
their hard work and dedication is truly amazing. We heard from Paul from the Steam Tug Cairn about all of the work they've done to preserve the vessel over the past 50 years. It truly is a credit to them and I hope one day soon we can come out for a visit. Thank you so much to National Historic Ships for organising this event and giving us all the opportunity to be able to meet like-minded people. We can't wait to come again. Well, that was a lovely day. Yeah. Um, our first ever public speaking event. Yeah. It didn't go too bad, did it? No, it was all right. So we are just about to leave the Windermere Jetty Museum now. So thank you yeah. so much for having us. It's yeah, been a amazing. fantastic and day. Thank you for our little ride out on the steamboat. Was amazing, <laughs> I wasn't, wasn't expecting it? that. That was really good, that wasn't was it? That was amazing. That. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So our it was host. So silent. It was so silent. It was so quiet and smooth, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. Cool. Okay. All right. Back home. Back home. Boat work to do tomorrow. Yeah. Bye, guys. Bye, bye.